man. Still got uh, some stuff we got to clean up from Thanksgiving from yesterday, but whatever. Let's go see my babies. Thanksgiving, what am I talking about? It was like Thanksgiving because the food was bomb, but it was actually the Super Bowl. Let me stop. Let's see here. Oh. Look at those babies. Yeah, look at that girl. Oh yeah. I got a new addition. I got a new addition just for the Super Bowl. The new addition is? Oh yes, that made the Super Bowl so fun. Same a dog. Just a new pit boss smoker. 1150 Pro. Anyway, back to the dogs. Because this is what we're here for. Gosh, I want to be in the sun, but it seems a little warm, a little hot. I'm going to get in the sun anyway. Just for a little bit, we're going to sit out here in the sun. Get that raise that we like. Oh, oh Hermie. It's okay. It's just daddy. It's just me. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay, my baby. It's okay. Who's whining over here? Who's whining? It sounds like that sounds like a Luca whine. Hermione really don't whine, but Luca, he's a big baby. No, that's my guy. That is my boy. That's my boy right there. He's he's a good guy. I love this dog, man. <sighs> so we had the Super Bowl yesterday. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great Super Bowl. I wa I wasn't cheering for anybody. Um, I just wanted to see a good game, so I had no skin in the game whatsoever. And uh, it was a uh, it was it, it's fun watching the Super Bowl that way. You know, a lot of times me I'm so just I'm just so so <laughs> that when uh, you know if I'm really going hard for a team and not winning. You know, I'm probably just not going to want to watch anymore. You know, like if uh, I was going hard for somebody in the Super Bowl and they were down. Although yesterday's Super Bowl was so good that, like, that kind of a Super Bowl, no matter what, is going to be great. Obviously, if my team lost, it would hurt. But, uh, you know, we still uh, still have fun no matter what at the Super Bowl. But... I think I, I think I enjoy actually the Super Bowl, the festivities of the Super Bowl when I'm not cheering for a team, cause uh, it was fun, just fun. Got the smoker out, cooked for like six, seven hours of like smoking ribs. Made some nice baby back ribs first time on the smoker, and it came out perfect. Actually, let me stop. Let me stop. It didn't come out perfect. It was good, but. Um, not perfect still have a still have a I'll get it perfect though I will get it perfect uh, there's no doubt about that but yeah they were good though everyone was happy except me because I like perfect ribs you know <laughs> where are you guys at I'm gonna let them out in a little bit but I did just want to uh, talk about a few things um, so a lot of times when you guys see these a lot of times you'll uh, if you look at the videos, sometimes uh, you'll see. Well, let me just back up anyway. My regimen usually, or what the regimen I like to do is usually, um, I work all day. You know, this is a hobby. I love the dog, so um, I love dogs in general. But dogs are a hobby, you know. Period. I love, but I love dogs, so I got them. And uh, you know, part of the hobby is obviously cleanup. That's a huge part of the hobby. And right now, everything is great. The yard is perfect. I came out earlier today, uh, cleaned up everything. Um, it's just a nice 15, 20 minutes to clean up. And it's actually one of those things, if you're a, like, I don't know, if you're a dog lover, animal lover, or, you know, a lover of, of this hobby in general, of, 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 of taking care of animals, taking care of dogs, raising dogs, breeding dogs, um, 
then the actual cleanup it's 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 a it's not that bad you know I, I don't even I don't even like to use the word bad it's it's actually um I'm trying to think of the phrase now I can't I'm, my head's at, at a blank right now but it's something that I actually uh, like to do I look forward to actually cleaning up believe it or not and it gives me a chance to just really kind of think as I clean you know um, but it's something that's, it's fun to do actually um, you know you take pride in getting the yard looking the way you want to look you know like you, if you love dogs then you actually then you also you know are going to take pride in everything that it takes to keep your dogs like the dog house even though my, that guy's dog house is I still need to fix that roof um, but like the platforms I made I take pride in making those the cages I take pride in those the the um the covering I have on there to shade them like I take pride that it all looks good and works well so when I clean up my yard you know, I'm taking pride in the yard. I'm taking pride in how it looks. Um, I'm taking pride in the smell. I want everything to be good. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be a... Uh, uh, so when people come over, like yesterday when we had the Super Bowl, you know, we were out here chilling. And it was fun. We were out here chilling, smoking. The dogs were just chilling. And everything was good, you know, because I made sure that the ambiance was good. I, I Everything was clean. So you got to clean up. But I, my, my normal regimen is to come out here uh, right around 10 a.m. every day. That's when I first interact with my dog. Usually it's about 10 a.m. Um, or, well, no, no, let me stop. Uh, I interact with my dog like in the morning, like 7 a.m. But then, like, I first come out to clean up, like, right around 10 a.m. Um, usually I only clean up once a day. Sometimes I'll do it twice a day. Uh, you know, but usually it's only once a day. So sometimes, you know, when you do that cleanup, it, it does, it can look a little bad out here. One day can get carried away. That's why sometimes I do have to do it twice because, um, you know, just depending on what goes on. And then there's always spot cleanups. So, you know, sometimes you're constant, sometimes if you're out here and your dog does something like right out on the green and you're out here with people, you're going to, I'm going to go clean it up right away. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let that sit out here on the green. I'm gonna clean that up right away. But you know, you a lot of times when you got when I come out here, um, if it looks like a mess, it's just because I just didn't, you know, I'm filming before I actually clean up. Right now, I'm, I'm, you know, I cleaned up first and then I film. But every day I clean up, every day I film. It just matters what I do first. And uh, but I love both. I love doing both. Um, the filming part is fun. The filming part, you know, it's it's just fun to look at the dogs. I'm going to do a cleanup video too soon just so you guys can see, you know, basically what it takes to keep this place clean and just what it looks like. It doesn't take much at all. Super easy. Super easy. And what makes it partly, I've had, you know, what partly what makes it easy is the setup. The setup makes it super easy. This yard is a very easy yard to clean. Um, you know, some yards aren't as easy. Some set, and then depending on your setup, your setup you know matters a lot and I'm gonna go into depth about that you know in the future on on you know what I think is like a great setup for you know to take care of your dog because I see a lot of people on uh, on YouTube obviously and other people who have dog setups you know a lot of American bully breeders and stuff and I've seen some setups that I'm like ah, you could you could make it easier on yourself if you did this instead but you know it's all good I'm just going to talk about mine and how I do it and how it how it goes down, just how it looks, um, and I'll videotape it and everything too. But you know, right now I just kind of want to keep putting out little videos of my dogs, just doing the same old, same old, just so you guys can see and know that you know this breed is just chill. It's just a chill breed. They like to kick it. They're not, they're not really doing too much, you know? I mean, now, if I get up and let these dogs out, they'll definitely get up and start moving around. Which I will. I think I will right now. Let's go. Well, I'll, I'm going to let... Do I let her mind out? Look at Luca. Look at Luca. Look at my guy.
Francesca, what you doing, girl? Just relaxing. I see you. Actually, harm. What's up, girl? Hermione. Oh, my baby, gosh. That is a dog right there. That is a beast. Oh, but there's another beast. Luki. Oh, Luca. Yes. Yes, you good boy. You good boy, that's my baby. Oh, Luca. Yeah, me and Luca are gonna start taking more, uh, we're gonna start taking solo missions out into the public, out into the world. I'm gonna start showing everybody what this dude looks like. Cause he's a beast and he's a fun dog. Fun animal. And he's a sweetheart too. He's a really sweet animal. Really sweet dog. Really sweet boy. I love him. Good boy, Luca. Mm. 
Yeah, during the summertime, they're definitely going to be inside a lot more, too. I mean, obviously. But, I mean, they're going to be just doing their thing. Oh, my gosh. Lukey. <laughs> These dogs, man, they're hilarious. I'm just over here having a side conversation with Luca and then filming Hermie. My Hermione, my pretty baby. Oh, now Luca's just laying on my foot. There you at, Luca. He's on my foot. My foot's underneath him. He's cute. No, oh, Herm. Herm's just. Herm is just like, man. Let your girl out. Let her do her thing. I know, baby. I know. But this is my pastime, y'all. This is what I like to do. I mean, I compare my, I compare this, what I do here, you know, coming out here and chilling with the dogs. Um, I compare that to people who aren't sports fans, but like to go to baseball games. You know, they don't really cheer for anybody. They just like the ambiance of a baseball game. You know, it's just a, they also like the pat, you know, you sit around, you kick it, you hang out, you laugh. It's just a hangout. It's a pastime. It's not a, it's not something you get into, like, I mean, you know, for me, I, I don't like baseball. Um, and when it comes to sports, I'm a big sports guy, so I never, ever watched a sport and didn't, like, really pay attention to it, you know? Um, <laughs> I go for the sport, you know? But, you know, this is... And understanding, you know, what what they might be feeling. This is this is what I kind of would uh, think about when I think about people who aren't sports fans but like to come and just you know chill and relax with something going on. And uh, this is similar, like you know, with my dogs. They're would I just come out here and sit out here by myself? No, I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? But now that my dogs are out here, I come out here three, four, five times a day for anywhere from 15 to three hours at a time and just hang out, just to hang out, you know? Uh, or if I'm working on something, I'd rather be out here with my computer than behind the desk with my computer, you know? I'd rather be out here looking at these beautiful beasts. So that's what I do. Just come out here, hang out, work out here. This is my office. Oh, look at that tail. Let's get in front of her face. This is the office out here. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind being able to set up my desk and uh, set up my phone and, and do my work out here, but you can't do that. Uh, but uh, other than if, when I, if I'm not working, and I'm, I'm, when I'm not working for you know my boss and I'm working for myself, this is where I want to come out here and think. This is where I want to come out here and uh, make decisions. And, um, you know, let my mind go. <clears throat> oh, there you are, Luca. I haven't really got too much film of him today. We'll keep the rest of it on Luca. This will be like one of my longer ones, actually. We'll keep the rest of it on Luca. A little bit on Herm. I mean, on Francesca.
That's a beast, folks. That's a beast. <clears throat> That's a dog, man. That is a dog. You want to spend money on a dog? I mean, like, that's what I spend money. If I when I spend money on a dog, I feel like I got my money well spent when it grows up and it looks like that. And it's not. It's either a year and a month. This dude's just like beginning to come into his own. If even if he's even started, you know what I'm saying? It's just the beginning of this guy's growth. So you guys are gonna see a lot. You guys are gonna see what it, what a neo. From like, uh, I wish I would have shown you guys what this guy looked like when I got him at six months. Man, I can't wait to sh like. I'll, I'll be showing his puppy pictures, and uh, you know, you have to trust those genetics a lot. You know, I mean, you buy a dog for it looks like it's a puppy, um, over buying a dog what its parents look like. That's not a good. That's not a good choice. I, w I would say. I would say I wouldn't condone that. I was like, look at the parents. Obviously, if you can look at the parents' parents. <laughs> but if you can just look at the parents, trust that over what the puppy looks currently like. You know, I've seen a lot of other puppies that look better than Luca as a puppy. Man, would have been a huge mistake to go with, you know, a different, a different combination of parents. Because the parents I got from him, his parents are both amazing both beautiful both something I would love to own I've seen other puppies that like look really awesome as puppies right and but the parents aren't you know on that level and then when they grow up they take after the parents and this boy he looked as a puppy he looked good nothing special just looked good looked cute as a puppy but like you know now that he's growing up same thing, taken after the parents, big time. I see both parents in him, and I'm very happy with how he's taking after them. He's doing a good job. Love him. Thank you, Pablo. Shout out to Pablo Blas in Mexico. Francesca. Franny. Oh. Uh, she's a beast, too. Pretty dog. I love her. And then my Hermie. Herm. Oh, you looking over here a little bit? I see you, girl. I heard you eating earlier. I heard you eating. I heard you chomping. Oh, yeah, she hears me talk. This is my girl. That's why she's my girl, because she is just like literally. She melts when she's around me. She's a melter. You know, she's a tough dog who's a melter. Love you, baby. Love you. Oh my gosh. I just think that's, to me, that's what I'm trying to make right there. See that head? That's a, that's a head. That is a head. That's a head. <laughs> uh, I love that head. I love that head. She's, I just love her, man. I love this dog. I love all my dogs, man. That's why I'm gonna make more of them, because I love them all so much. All are AKC registered, so don't worry, it's nothing, no, no. All dogs are papered AKC registered. Neapolitan Mastiffs. <laughs> Thank you, Herm. Thank you for looking so pretty. Ooh. Yeah, that camera probably, huh? You don't like that camera? Oh, sweetie. What's your name, sweetie? sweetie? What's your bargain at, sweetie? What's your bargain at? Herm. Oh, oh my baby. Oh. Uh oh, Luca looked up. He's like, what? What's going on? She don't be barking. That's my dog. Pretty, pretty baby. Uh oh, Francesca's coming up over here. Hermie. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> mm. 
Love you, baby. Oh. Oh, Francesca. No harm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cut it off here. Oh, the new addition. <laughs>